Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I'm super excited to show you Mr. Hino's version of an Amazon robot. If you've never seen an Amazon robot, check the description for a link I've sent you guys, especially if you guys are teachers or educators and want to show um, your students what it's like to see uh, an Amazon robot. They're super cool. But today I decided, hey, I think I can make a robot do something like that. So if you want to see that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Hey guys, before we get to the video, I have our first LEGO League update. A first LEGO League team called the Incredibytes has reached out to me to see if any of you guys want to connect with them for cooperation. If you check your first LEGO League rubric, cooperation means that you and another team are going to provide some type of mentorship either way. You know, one team helps the other team or vice versa. So if you guys want to give me an email at hinolegorobotics at gmail.com, I'll go ahead and set up some type of contact sharing so you and the Incredibytes can have some type of mentorship. So, you know, you can help each other out and improve each other. So if you want to do that, send out a message to me and I'll give you guys your contact information, okay? All right, let's get back to the video. So Amazon has a ton of fulfillment centers all around the world. There's some that are really close to myself right now. And I'd love to, you know, once this whole pandemic thing is over, take my students over there so they can see this thing for real life. If they even give tours, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway... This video that I sent you guys in the description, I'm going to be describing some of the pictures um, that I'm going to show you of what happens with these Amazon robots and then show you my Amazon robot that I kind of made up myself. So let's go ahead and go to, if you've never seen an Amazon robot, I'm going to kind of describe what it does and then show you what mine does. So let's go to the first, the Amazon robot. All right, let's hop into this Amazon robot. So the Amazon robot that you see is fitted with ultrasonic sensors so that when it's going out to retrieve these products, um, it won't crash into the other Amazon robots. And it's just really neat that Amazon has an army of these robots because their fulfillment centers are just huge. They're about, you know, 25 to 30 football fields. So you're not going to want to send out employees um, to get these products because it would just be too far to walk. So these Amazon robots are really neat that they're able to help out the Amazon workers to get these products. So the next picture you see here is um, what I was talking about, this fulfillment center. Um, you can just see is super huge, filled with millions of products. So you can just see how it would be a daunting task for the employees to have to walk and get these products. So Amazon robots definitely provide a really neat service for um, the employees. Um, so that the products can come to them instead of them having to go get the products. So this next picture you see is the actual Amazon robot with the shelf that it has retrieved. And what's really neat about these robots is it can lift 720 pounds of items on the shelves. And it would basically drive the shelf over to the Amazon worker um, so they can retrieve what they need. And then these Amazon robots will take the shelf back. So this picture you see right here is, again, um, another picture of the shelving. And you can just see how high the shelving is and how many products it can carry um, that this robot is just really neat in order to be able to do that. And so this next picture, you can see the actual Amazon worker um, looking for the product to take off the shelf and be ready to you know ship to us so it's just one of those neat things where as soon as the amazon employee finds what they're looking for then the amazon robot can take the shelving um, right on back to where it was and um, so there you, you see another picture of the amazon robots um, taking the shelving that you know they don't the amazon worker doesn't need anymore and it can take it back to where it was and be able to um, you know have another product be taken off as soon as somebody else orders it 
So these Amazon robots are just um, providing a really uh, wonderful service because when we buy things from Amazon, um, these robots are able to work hand in hand with humans to be able to provide these products for us. So it's just a real neat example of robots and humans working together to provide us a really neat service. So I thought to myself, Mr. Hino, you can make something like that to show everybody. So I took my EV3 robot, I tried to make my own shelving, I tried to put my own products for the robot to go get and bring back. So what you're going to see right now is my EV3 robot that I built. Um, it's basically an educator robot, and but I made my own shelving and you're going to see my robot try to go out and retrieve these and bring it back. And also, when it brings it back, my robot should be able to take the shelf back and return, just like the Amazon robot. So I tried, so check this out. Okay, everybody, here is my Amazon robot. And let me explain what's going to happen here. So from the picture, you saw that these Amazon robots basically can go underneath the Amazon merchandise and bring it back to the person so that they can take it off the shelf, they can um, package it, and send it to your house. So what I have right here is I have my makeshift Amazon, you know, you can call it the rack. And then I made a little space for the merchandise. So I have some masking tape and I have the game Spot It. And so what's gonna happen is the Amazon robot's gonna go underneath here. It's basically gonna clamp onto the front and pull it back to where the worker can take off the merchandise and then the robot should take the shelf back and so that, you know, it can be uh, stored and then, you know, the robot should come back to the base so it can be ready for the next, um, you know, product that needs to get taken out and shipped. So let's go ahead and see what this robot's going to do as far as the program. Okay, so the robot's in position. There is a color sensor right here. I've set the color for red to make the robot go so I can basically use my finger because if you guys didn't know that uh, the color sensor picks up your fingers or your skin is red it's going to go and basically retrieve this shelf with the merchandise bring it back so I'm gonna pretend to be the Amazon worker I'll take out the spot it game and basically when I press this touch sensor it will let the robot know that it can take the shelf back and then the robot will basically come back to base like it would for Amazon, ready for the next um, order. So let's go ahead and see this. Okay, everybody, the Amazon robot is ready. Let me go ahead and just show you what I built. I tried to build this like an Amazon shelf where they put merchandise. That sits in there right nicely. So I got to spot it, I got some masking tape. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead like Amazon, send this robot out. Somebody just ordered Spot It. So I need this robot to go out and get it, bring it back so I can basically pretend like I'm an Amazon worker and ship it. So here we go. I'm gonna start the program. Red activates it. There we go. So this robot has been programmed to go out and get the shelving. should fit right underneath there clamp down on it and now it's going to bring it back the reason I'm going to have this robot turn around is I basically wanted this to be in the front so I can pull it back yeah I just wanted to make life a little tougher I mean I guess I could have kept it the way it was so I can just push it back but so I'm the Amazon worker spot it's going to be ready to ship and so the robot's just waiting for me to press this touch sensor which will activate it to go back and take the shelf back and then my robot's program to come back too I have to work on getting that to be straighter for some reason. Okay, so it should unclamp in the front. Okay, see, that's the part I need to work on. But it's coming back.
and it should be ready for the next delivery if I can get this thing to be straight. Well, I guess I could always, like I did before, just maybe not have it turn around because that's when I have the issue of this thing not going back straight. But guys, that was a perfect example of how Amazon has their robots get products that they need in their giant warehouse and then you know the robots just go back and forth getting all those materials or products and then the workers just basically take it off the shelf and then it just goes back when they're done okay everybody i altered the program because i really wanted the shelving to go back to where it was originally i don't like the fact that it was not straight and if I were to send this out again, I wouldn't be sure that it would be able to, you know, bring it back again. So I just brought the robot straight back. And when I need it to go back, I'll just have it go straight forward. So let's check out this program. You can see that I changed the position of the touch sensor. Okay, spot it again is going back out. Wow, it's such a, wow. I don't think the Amazon workers do that, but spot it is a very popular game. Wow, we just keep getting orders for it. And now we'll just press the touch sensor back here and the robot will take it back. Not too bad. And that looks like a lot better than it was before. Okay, everybody, so that's Mr. Hino's Lego EV3 Amazon robot. I mean, it wasn't very far. I don't even know if it was perfect, but I tried. I tried to kind of demonstrate what an Amazon robot goes through. So my, my EV3 was kind of pretending to be an Amazon robot. And my EV3 is like, yeah, I can pretend or I can try to do what those Amazon robots do but you know they're so much better at what they do than my EV3 so if you get a chance that's kind of the cool thing is you know we can take all these real life robots and pattern our EV3 after them to kind of do what they do so anyway hopefully you're still staying safe everybody hopefully you're still enjoying the beginning of the school year or you will if it hasn't come yet and you know hopefully you are in the position to get your hands on robots and not virtual learning because I just can't wait for my students to get back into the class and get their hands on the robots instead of virtual robots. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Seals Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.